Today we honor two brave men who dedicated their lives to freedom to the point of giving their lives so that all of us could be here today so we can enjoy these freedoms. Today we thank them, we thank you, we thank the families to instill in them the values to that end we have shared with the community and with our nation. In paying the ultimate sacrifice, Joseph Anzac Jr. and Micah Gifford joined the shining pillars of courage in our community. Let us not be saddened by their loss, but instead be thankful for giving the gift of knowing them and for the time we spent with them. Even though football resembles very little of the characteristics of war, I truly believe that the things the soldiers are taught about commitment, loyalty, and being part of a unit are just like the things football players are taught. Joe Anzac represented these traits as a football player better than anyone I have ever coached. Whenever the head coach needed to get a message to the team, Michael was always the first name out of his mouth to get it done for him the right way. I can sincerely say it was an honor to coach him and to have been in his life. I know he represented our country the way we expect our soldiers to represent. And I'm sure he was always willing to go above and beyond the call of duty. And I guarantee that the soldiers standing to his right and left felt extremely lucky to have him on their side. And I can also guarantee that Micah would have done anything for those soldiers. But that is what leaders and heroes do. They put others first.